We're joined now by the DJ Fat Tony. Seven years clean, but you were addicted to uh, this stuff. Why is there so much more of it now than when you were on it? Uh, when I was doing drugs, you know, uh, crystal meth wasn't actually being made in this country. It was being imported from the States. People were bringing it over. It's now being made here. And I gather you can access it, as she explained in her piece, um, through an app. Well, not a app, but there's, the, you know, in the gay community, we have different apps, i.e. Grindr, Scruff, there's so many different, uh, these gay social networking sites, which you, you know, you go on, you can meet other gay men on them for uh, primarily sex. Uh, uh, and what's happening is on, on them are basically people are having, advertising, you know, I was on it for three days and I was offered up chems 147 times. This is something which gives you an enormous high, but a terrible crash of a downer afterwards, right? Yeah, an awful... The come-down is immense. So if the come-down's so bad, why does anyone want to go up? Because they want to stay up. Well, is that all about sex? Uh, you know, the, the drug... You know, with the with three drugs in question, your crystal meth and G and... Uh, methadone, all of them are, give you a really high sex drive. And this is the problem, you know, people... Sex, a lot of people are driven by sex. And then you introduce a drug that prolongs that sex life, then you're playing with fire. Now, you go around, because you've got a great position with your DJing and yeah. the rest of it, talking to people about this. How do you work people off it? I kind of, you know, I, with, the, with the drug, uh, you know, with Chris Murphy, I, I kind of think educating people is really important. You know, you can't stop someone using drugs until they're ready to stop. The problem with this is, is the fact that these aren't addicts. These are, you know, this is recreational use. And people are, are slamming. And these are middle-class people, very yeah, often. City know, guys, listen, whatever. I know doctors, I, you know, I know practitioners, I know lawyers. You know, they're not street junkies. They're not intervening as street junkies. These are people that are using, injecting into their veins recreationally. So, with this terrible rise, 21% last year mm -hmm. in HIV... Yeah. Is that a direct link with the abuse of crystal meth? Well, you know, when people are high, their inhibitions go. And people are sharing needles. People, you know, are having major sex parties. and Without protection? Yeah, without protection. You know, barebacking is, 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 uh, is, is as trendy as slamming, I'm afraid to say, in this, in, within London at the moment. And, you know, that leads to all sorts. So the key, you would say, is partly to go after these apps really yeah. survey them, and, yeah. and partly to go under after the manufacturers. Well, I kind of think, you know, they need to be accounted for. You know, they need to be held accounting, uh, you know, because at the end of the day, they're not licensed. So you can advertise, you can, you can just put the word chem on your profile and get away with it. Fat Tony, thank you very much well. indeed for coming in.